So a man is just trying to get a job in Arizona, okay? He happens to be a migrant worker, he gets shot. And um, he was only seeking work, put up the picture full of mass, hell of a story. So in Arizona, George Allen Kelly is accused of fatally shooting an unarmed migrant named Gabrielle Butmay in the back, all right? And this individual uh, was only seeking employment work, wanting to provide labor. Kelly faces charges now of second degree murder and aggravated assault. I'm going to give you the twists and turns here. Kelly claimed that he saw a group of camouflage men traveling across his 100 acre ranch on January 30th, 2023. So he suspected the worst. Now keep that picture, I mean, keep the graphic up because I want to pause on this point just for a second. He suspected the worst. He saw men traveling across his ranch and suspected the worst. Well, that's confirmation bias, that's internal. Uh, this is why we try to eliminate the hyper aggressive bias or even the um, nuances of bias sensitivity inside of individuals who may simply be racist and sometimes unaware of how racist they are. With millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable, we just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. He says, uh, drug traffickers frequently pass through the area outside Keno Springs, Arizona, which lies about two miles north of the US-Mexico border. Both Kelly and his wife, Wanda, later told police that they saw at least one of the trespassers carrying a rifle. Kelly said that when he confronted the intruders, one of them pointed a rifle toward him. In response, Kelly said he fired warning shots from his AK-47 above the group's head. However, however, Arizona prosecutors tell a completely different story. The state accuses Kelly, 75, of shooting an unarmed migrant named Gabrielle in the back from a concealed position. Gabrielle died in Kelly's on Kelly's property. No one in the group carried either guns. No one in the group carried either guns or drugs, prosecutors say. They were cutting through Kelly's ranch on the web on their way to Phoenix, where they plan to work as roofers. Quote, Kelly issued no warnings, which by the way is required to use deadly force in a situation like that. Kelly issued no warnings and made no request. Prosecutors wrote in court filings, he just started shooting at them. Previous incident involving Kelly includes court records at times. Um, will paint Kelly himself as an instigator. They have this on record now. With an unusual, unusual bent in firing warning shots. He always says, oh, I just fired a warning shot in 2004. Kelly heard gunshots coming from his property, went to investigate. As he approached, according to him, he fired four shots in the air to warn the person that he was approaching. The man, um, Gerardo, told Kelly that he had used the area for target practice. Since he was a kid, Kelly's property borders um, the Coronado National Forest, where target shooting is actually completely legal. It is permitted. And he tells Gerardo, tells the police that Kelly, quote, made racial comments toward him during the confrontation. And Gerardo responded by saying, quote, I'm going to tell all the I see to come cut down. Your fences. While retrieving the cattle, Kelly encountered a group of people he presumed, assumed, presumed, believed to be unauthorized migrants. He would have said illegals in his mind. Two of them walked toward him. Kelly yelled, uh, parate, uh, Spanish for stop several times and then fired a pistol into the air to warn them according to the police record. This is his account. The men walked away, border patrol agents swept the area but found no migrants. Police found no damage to the gate latch. Quote, my investigation revealed that Kelly may have left the gate unlocked himself. Police report says, no criminal activity was revealed, end quote. In 2022, text message, a text message described in court records, Kelly referenced 27 migrants I'm growing daisies as of last night, um, a 
euphemism for bodies, buying bodies that prosecutors described as written fantasies about mass murdering um, a dehumanized group. When he and his wife contracted COVID that year, he blamed it on COVID illegals. COVID affected illegals is the term he utilized code. Encountered at Walmart. So you should have just blamed Walmart. I digress. And three weeks before the death of the individual whom he is on is arrested for now, Kelly told a friend in a text, his ranch was overrun by cartel traffickers and that his AK-47 was getting a lot of work. Once again, fantasy did not happen that way. Um, put up the picture full of masks. While Kelly's trial is going, Arizona State Rep Justin Heap, along with other Republicans, are pushing a law that would expand the state's castle doctrine to allow people to use deadly force if they feel threatened when confronting trespassers. So the representative told the state's House Judiciary Committee last month that the change was needed to help ranchers remove trespassers from their property, specifically noting the problem of unauthorized migrant trespassers. Please keep in mind, he's only hoping to expand the protection so that people can murder trespassers without having criminal penalty. That's what this law aims to do. Democratic opponents liken it to legalizing murder, contending that it will encourage people to shoot migrants traveling through expansive borderland ranches. But the county attorneys for both Yuma and Yavapai told Capital Media Services they never asked Heap to change the law. They, they, they don't know anything about this, nor are they coordinating. And the representative's proposal applies so clearly to Kelly's murder case that opponents see it as the obvious inspiration for the bill. Law enforcement agrees the man murdered somebody. The proposal happened because George Allen Kelly was accused of killing a migrant who basically crossed his property, said B. Rahman a spokesperson for the Democratic Legislative Campaign Committee. Murder is something that should definitely not be legal, end quote. But this is the cause and effect that we see routinely. They don't try to stop this kind of unrighteous behavior. They don't care about humanity in general. They care about responding in a way that allows people like them that hold their political and reckless ideology to get away with the worst crime among us, to take another human being, to take their life. And I challenge the notion, if you believe in any level of spirituality, if you believe that you come from a divine creator, if you believe in your Christian even evangelical roots, how in the hell can you believe it's okay to create a bill, a law that would protect killers? And let someone get away with premeditated murder. All right, David, thoughts here. Well, two two things. First of all, I have a feeling that if we were to look at this guy as a media consumption, it would be a lot of far right lunatic yep. media stuff, which got him very frightened and afraid of uh, migrants for for no fair reason. And then the second thing is, how many of us in our lives have cut through somebody's property or had our kids? cut through somebody's property because it was shorter to get to the store or quicker to get to school. Are we now going to say as a society that anytime somebody cuts on your property, you can open fire and shoot them in the back? Of course not. But there's this impulse now in some parts of our society to go ahead and take justice into your own hands, as opposed to doing the humane thing, which is saying, hey, can I help you? You want to cut across my property? Tell me what you're doing. I mean, have a conversation, be a human being. But the moment somebody immediately turns to a gun and acts out their fantasies or their fears uh, themselves and takes justice into their own hands, that's when society is truly doomed. And that's why, I, again, it's so dangerous out there in this gun culture. So many people feel like they take matters in their own hands and that they can just sort of shoot anybody they want. It's insanity. It really is. And then the lawmakers who are elected by people do not make it any better. 